Hey guys, welcome to Outlaw Edge Blade Works. So uh, I was digging around in my library tonight, trying to get some more of that junk cleaned up. And uh, you guys probably think I'm always cleaning in this, in this room, but we moved into this house a while back and just always so busy, we never had time to do nothing. So as I get time, I've been trying to clean up the back library because uh, we've got the motorcycle shop and stuff's in the back, but we've got uh, a whole bunch of stuff in the library and I want to clean it out, kind of to make it where I can put all my move my couch and stuff in there where I can sit and read my books but I've got kayaks and everything else in there right now so it's all kind of in the way but anyways I found some more children's books tonight and uh, I figured I'd share with them real quick while I was messing with some of that stuff and uh, this one's James Houston it's Frozen Fire this is a great children's books and I've read all these so I can recommend these if you know you guys are uh, Moms, dads, grandma, grandpas, whatever, and you want to get some nice children's books. This one, these are all five stars children, five star children books. But Frozen Fire, really good. It's a simple read. It's a fast read. Great children's book. Um, I wish this one didn't have the sticker on it where you guys could see the name of it, but this is, uh, as far as I'm concerned, one of the best books ever written. And not, and I don't mean just children's books. I mean like adult books. <laughs> I loved it, but this is Hatchet by Gary Paulson, and uh, right here the sticker's over the top of this, and I wish I could get it off there without ripping it all up, but I'll do this for you so you can read it, and right here it says Hatchet, Gary Paulson. Gary Paulson's one of my favorite uh, children's authors, and this is an easy, re uh, easy read, and this kid, this is a, uh, he gets dropped in an airplane, it crashes, he has to fight moose and fight to live and survive and make fire and just everything in the Canadian wilderness and he's uh, lost out there for a long time it's like I want to say it's like 30 something days and he's like 12 or 13 years old it's a great book read it a whole bunch of times love this book <clears throat> this is another Gary Paulson book it's called the Fox Man the Fox Man and uh, Gary Paulson and he's the author of Hatchet you can see that here this is another really good book about these kids that go out in the woods and find this cabin. It's got this guy in it, and I don't want to mess the story up for you, but a really good children's book right here. If you get a chance to grab that for a kid that's into adventure stories and stuff, into survival, bushcrafting, out in the woods and whatever, excellent book. Another Gary Paulson book that I had in my library that I figured I'd share with you guys, and that's uh, Gary Paulson, The Woods Runner. And this is a really cool book. I liked it. Um, there were some of the parts that I actually missed because I didn't get to read all of it, but the stuff that I did read, it was really good. I loved it. And it's a simple read for kids, and uh, it's one of those that you start reading it, you can't put it down. And I highly recommend it. I love this book. Really good for children. Fun story. I think every kid should read this because this is an awesome book. The Swiss Family Robinson. And who, who does this book? Uh, Joanne Weiss, I think is how you would say it. But uh, Swiss Family Robinson, that was one of them that I read about a hundred times in high school and grade school and all that. And I always remembered it. And then uh, years back, I got this book and read it again and still love the book. But this is a really good children's book. And this is for like an older child, probably 13, 14, something like that, if they like to read. Really good adventure story right here. And this is a. Uh, this book here is called The Island Trilogy, and it's, uh, it's an awesome book for kids, and it has a whole bunch of different stories in it, and, and it's, it's supposed to be three books, but it actually has a lot of other things in there, other little stories, little like mini stories in between that, and it's uh, book one, Shipwreck, book two, Survival, book three, Escape, and uh, you can see that on the back there, and it's uh, these kids here, and they get lost out on an island, and they're shipwrecked, and I don't want to ruin the story for you, but all the stuff that they go through trying to live out there and fighting and arguing and cussing and spitting and screaming and just everything that happens out there and uh, trying to find food and how to make fire and everything, it's really cool. And kids will love this because this is a good adventure book right here. And it's a really big book, but it's a pretty easy read, pretty fast read. I've read it, and uh, I liked it. It was a cool book, five-star right here. One of the other ones that were in my library was another Gary Paulson book, and this is actually like Gary Paulson writing this himself as his uh, as he was growing up. So this is a 
the story of his life or whatever. And it's called Guts. And uh, anyways, Gary Paulson, awesome author. And this is a pretty simple read. And this is probably like a, a book for like a 13, 14, 15-year-old kid or whatever, older. And uh, even as an adult, I read it. And I loved it. It's a good book. I had to pick it up because I've seen all the other Gary Paulson books that I had in my library. And I seen this a, a while back at a used bookstore, and I had to grab it. And uh, I have just bazillions of books in there. But anyways, if I find more children's books, I'll do another video for you guys. Thanks for joining me tonight. Check out my girlfriend's website, mnoutlawcustom.com, later.